Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, today's in this video, I am going to discuss what is the CBCS and what is the DBCS. Basically, uh, the CBCS is a centralized version control system, whereas the DBCS is distributed version distributed version control system. And uh, so, I will discuss what is the difference between both. And uh, I have prepared one uh, demo of this one. And with the help of using this diagram, I can explain what is the CBCS and what is the DBCS. So first I will try to discuss CBC, CBCS, the so centralized version control system. So basically this is working as a server and client. There is one server, server is also known as the master that is centralized repository and other is clients that is a developer machine. So this master centralized repository contains all the version of the code. If you want to, uh, any developers want to work in this CBCS, then he need to pull the code, to get the latest code from the master repository, uh, like central repository to their local machine. So this is like when this communication is known as the pulling the code from the remote repository, and then he will work at locally. And at the end, when he done the update the files, complete the files, he directly checking the code into the repository. So this work like uh, a master and clients. So. Every time when developer is want to work, he need to get the copy of the code in his system. So once he get the latest code from by pulling from the master, he can start working. And then once the work is completed, he can check in the code into the master repository. So here everything is centralized. There is nothing. There is no nothing at their machines. So, because repository is at central location, but if I talk to in DBCS distributed version control, so in this system, uh, every developer has one copy of the centralized repository at their own. So now you can see every developer has one copy, local copy, as well as the central repository, right? So everything is same with the central repository uh, in the distributed uh, DBCS environment. Only the difference, every developer has a single repository, which is copy of the server. So here is not only one single centralized repository, but local there will be also local machines. Uh, there is also repository which contains all the history, uh, all the updates of the code. So in that case, every clients, developers can work at their machine without, uh, by disconnecting with the central repository, he can work and update the code to local uh, repository. Once his the task is completed, he can push their code into the master repository, right? So both repository, central repository, as well as the local repository, both repository will track all the histories, uh, all the commits. So uh, maybe other developer is also committing the code into the central repository. He can pull the code that will be updated their local repository. So in the DVCS, when we are working, so we can just clone the complete, uh, all this um, code, history, everything at our local system, right? And uh, we don't need to only rely on the central repository. We can uh, copy of our repository, all the changes, everything at our local end also. So once we, once we commit, commit our code, so first it goes to the local uh, repository, and uh, we can push from local to the remote repository. So our changes from local repository, it will go into the central repository. 
And if we want to get the latest code from the central repository, that will update in our local repository. So now I'm discussing some differences between both. So centralized version control is easier to learn compared to distributed. Because in distributed, we need to remember multiple commands while not much command in the CC, in CBCS. So DB and DBCS is the biggest advantage that it allows to work offline. Means we can work, developer can work offline he can commit their code at local branch. When he connect with the server, he can push their code to the master repository. So this is the biggest advantage of the, uh, from this CBCS. DBCS is faster than CBCS because you don't need to communicate with the remote server for each and every command, right? You do everything locally, which give you benefit to work faster than to CBCS. <clears throat> While working on branch branches, it's easy in the DBCS. Every developer has entire history of code in DBCS at local. So developer can share, share their changes before merging all sets of changes to the remote server. In the CBCS, it's too difficult and time consuming to work on branches because it's required to communicate with the server directly. So that's why we required sometimes a difficulty is to merging the code, but here every developers first work checking or uh, commit their changes in the locally. If there is any conflicts, he can merge and push the code in the central repository. So in case central repository server uh, CBCS, if anything problem happened on the central repository, then all the codes and history, they will lose. But in the distributed environment, this is not, because every developer has code in their own local machine with history, each and every commits. So we, we will not lose the code. So these are some differences between the CDCS as well as the DVCS. So distributed Git is support the distributed version control system. So, and uh, there is this SBN is just related to CBCS, uh, central centralized version control system and Git is distributed version control system. So these are the differences generally mostly in the market in the currently uh, DBCS is uh, like more companies are using compared to the CBCS. So thanks. So for the watching my video, so in next video, we will discuss more related to the Git commands.